Hello everybody, Jamie here from FM Scout. Welcome to a brand new two-part episode on the FM Scout channel today. Something a little bit different. What we're going to be showing you is the Wonder Kids 10 years ago on FM 2008. We're going to be doing two-part series. The first the first part is going to be Wonder Kids who kind of didn't make it. And we're going to have a look at their history on the game, of course, in 2018. And then the second part is going to be FM 2008 players, Wonder Kids, who made it. So, you know, there's a lot of interesting players on here. We're going to have a look through a few of them. I'm going to check them out, and I'll be back in a second. Okay, guys, so the first player we're going to look at that's not really made it is actually a free agent in 2018's version. He is, of course, 28 years old. He was 18 years old at the time. Nikolai Mihailov, a Bulgarian goalkeeper, once predicted as a wonder kid in the FM 2008 series. As you can see, he started at FC 20 in 2007-2008. He was there for a while. You know, he did start to push into the first team around this area. Um, he, didn't, he then got uh, moved to Verona for an undisclosed fee. He then moved to Turkey where he spent the last three years. But apart from that, the guy that was predicted very, very highly um, is now a free agent. Moving on to the next one, another goalkeeper now. Somebody that I remember very very well and i'm sure many of you signed in please let me know in the comments this is what it's all about i want to get involved with you guys please let me know in the comments if you remember these kind of players you know it's going to bring a lot of memories back for the guys who's playing fm for a while but oscar ustari obviously some english people may know him when he was at sunderland but he did start his career at independente in this like the seven eight season he did get that he did get that one good um transfer to getafe in Spain where he's there for a while it kind of fell apart after that though he went back to Argentina at Boca he did make 12 appearances but then he must have gone on loan I know he's a free transfer he then came back to Spain after a season to Almeria uh, where he didn't make any appearances as you can see there's a lot of free transfers for a guy that was predicted in 2008 to be one of the best players is, is kind of crazy um, you know Sunderland he went to Sunderland on a free transfer where he didn't make any appearances he then went back to Argentina uh, where he, he started to play for Newell's for quite a bit. He then moved to Mexico, where he is currently still in Mexico at the moment. So, you know, it's not really worked out for Ostari. I st like I say, I still remember this guy um, from a while ago. It's, it's, I mean, his stats are still pretty good, to be fair, but he is 30 now. So, you know, this guy was classed as a wonder, cl wonder kid at 20 years old when he was uh, when he was independent Independiente. Okay, guys, this is really weird. So the next one is Miguel Angel Fraga, another guy who was predicted to be a goalkeeper. Uh, this is really, really strange. So this guy in 2008 was predicted to be very highly rated. He was obviously 19 at the time. Uh, this guy is also at Deportivo Atlas in, in Mexico. Now, this guy has not left Mexico, but he was predicted very highly when he started his career at Morelia. This guy, you know, he, he was predicted very, very good. And, you know, he stayed in Mexico. He's been moving around the teams in Mexico. But Ustari and Fraga are both at Deportivo Atlas at the moment. So two goalkeepers who was predicted to finish really, really high and, you know, predicted to do well. Both ended up at Deportivo Atlas. So, yeah, very strange one. But this guy, I've never signed this guy when I was in 2008. But, yeah, this is the, the third one. Moving on to the next one, the next one is Mika Richards. Many, many people will know Mika Richards. This guy was very highly rated on FM 2008. I remember everybody signing him. He, he was probably the main choice right back for most Premier League teams if he was in 2008. I still remember this guy massively. I mean, I was going to put him on the made it, but I don't think he has, if that makes sense. Like, he's 29, he's playing in the Championship. He's obviously had a very good, like I say, he started at Manchester City, of course. And this is kind of the area we're looking from, 10 years on from here. And since then, I mean, he made a few appearances and stuff for City. But then, going forward from the 12-13 season, it kind of dropped off. You know, he went to Fiorentina on loan from City, then went on a free transfer to Villa. So, some people can kind of say he's made it, but he's not the Messi. The Messi is on this list, and he's the kind of player that I'm looking at. He has kind of made it, you know. And, yeah, I mean, Mika Richards has made a shit ton of money. Uh, you can imagine, but still, as he made it as a top top player in the FMA 2018 series, I don't think so. You know, he is playing for Villa. is is 29 now, so he's, he was 19 years old then, and he was a very highly rated right back and a centre back as well. So, yeah, I don't personally think Mika Richards has uh, as as kind of made it. But let me know in the comments. This is what it's all about, and we'll move on to the next one. Okay, moving on to the next one was Armin Trahore. Does anybody remember signing this guy on FM 2008? This guy was very, very good. He was at Arsenal at the time. Um, he is currently playing at Nottingham Forest under 23. So another guy that I don't think has made it. As you can see here, he was in the Arsenal under 23s. 
in his career since, you know, he's been to Portsmouth on loan as well. So I don't personally think, I mean, he did get a loan to Juventus uh, in 2010-11. He then moved to QPR, I think that was the season when he was in the Premier League and they got relegated possibly, yes. Um, so he, he was playing for QPR in the Premier League at the time, but he has kind of dropped off and he is playing in the Championship right now at Nottingham Forest. So this is another guy that I still remember signing quite a lot on FM. Um, yeah, this guy, you know, he's not really made it. Okay, moving on to the defensive midfielder now and Daniel De Sena. Um, I do remember this guy very, very well from FM 2008. This guy was potentially one of the best DMs in the game at the time. I'm sure many of you will remember him. Um, it, I mean, he is at Calgary and is a 3.7 million value. So it, it's still pretty good. I mean, he's 30 years old now, so he's 20 at the time. As you can see, though, going from Parma, is not really made to the top flight of any Italian teams. So he started at Parma in the 2008-7-8 season just here. Class as the wonder kid, he got the 5.25 million to Sampdoria, where it didn't really work out. You know, he played in the first season, but the second season he didn't play. 29 appearances, three goals um, for Calgary on loan. He went back to Sampdoria, played again, uh, but you can see he was kind of playing in, but it didn't work out. He moved on loan to Calgary, uh, where he's still there at the moment. So he's been there for, for almost 10 years, um, but yeah, it didn't really work out for him. The next player I want to talk about is Matty Fernandez. Now, I remember this guy, again, massively. This guy was always your main choice, AMC. He turned out absolutely fantastic. Currently playing at Club Nexaxa, who I have no idea who they are, if I'm honest with you. Um, let's have a quick look. They are in the Mexico as well. So, yeah, this guy was very, very highly rated back in the day. He, he was at Villarreal at the time. You know, going back, he was at Cola Cola when you probably signed him and stuff. But he did go to Villarreal in 2008, 2009. And that's when he was kind of classed as one of the best wonder kids in the game, AMC-wise. He did get his move to Sporting, where he made a few appearances. He also went to Fiorentina as well in Italy, where he spent quite a while there, eventually going to Milan alone. Um, but then he has ended, ended up at Club Nexaxa. So I'd say this guy, based on his his appearances and, you know, his, his, his value and stuff, I don't really think he's that good. But, you know, it's not really developed as much in, like, 10 years on in FM 2018 as much as would have liked. I always remember this guy having amazing free kicks. I think it's this guy. I'm not entirely sure. He's only got 14 now, but I'm pretty sure this guy, his dribbling was massively amazing on the old FMs as well. Uh, but, yeah, this is Matty Fernandez. The next one I want to talk about is Diogo Capel. So this guy asked, I remember, again, I remember this guy um, back in FM 2008. This guy was insane on the left-hand side. Diego Capel started at Sevilla. This guy right here, so you can see 2007, 2008, 31 appearances. I mean, he's been playing a lot of football every season since, but as he made it as one of the top players in the world 10 years on, I don't think so. 3 million to Sporting, 725k to Genoa. And then is currently at, it was last two seasons at Anderlecht where he didn't make an appearance as he is a free transfer as well. So, yeah, he's definitely not made it. It's a, it's a shame because he was a really good left winger at the time. Moving on to the strikers now. And the next one is Anthony Stokes. So this guy was classed as a wonder kid at 18 years old when he was um, on FM 2008. So, you know, he's, he's probably been like very successful in, in Scotland. But in terms of the world being successful, I don't think so. Looking, obviously, he was at Sunderland at the time in 2008, 2009. He was classed as a wonder kid then. Uh, he moved to Sheffield United in the Championship literally the season after. And then he moved to the Championship again the season after that. So you can see it's kind of gone down early. He did move to Scotland in 09, 010 to Hibs for 200k. Uh, he then moved to Celtic for 800k and eventually went back to Hibs on loan. Uh, after like four or five years with Celtic, he went to Blackburn in the Championship on a free transfer from Celtic as well. Eventually, he did sign for Hibs though um, last season. So yeah, Anthony Stokes is one of the first strikers who didn't make it as a wonder kid in FM 2008. Now, I never thought 10 years on I would be putting Bojan on the list, you know, because he's still a pretty decent player. He's 26 at the time on FM 2008. He was a 16-year-old kid from Barcelona and he was... Probably the biggest potential player in the game. I'm sure a lot of you will remember this guy back in 2008. Now, he was 16 then. You know, he, I mean, he's, he's got a good career now. It's not too bad, but it's not as good as the hype was around him back in 2008. So, you can see right here, he was at Barcelona. He played in La Liga when he was 16, which is incredible. You know, 23 appearances. He was playing a lot. I still remember the first game he played on TV. You know, he then moved to Roma, which is a very odd decision for 10.5 million. 
Uh, Roman must have thought they was, you know, had an amazing deal right there. 33 appearances, 7 goals, but it didn't work out in the second season. They went to Milan on loan. Uh, then He then went back to Barcelona uh, for 11 million, so it's a very strange transfer, this one. Uh, he then went to Ajax on loan. Uh, maybe Barcelona just realised his potential, I'm, I'm not entirely sure. He then went to Ajax, but then he went to Stoke for 1.5 million. So it's it's probably the weirdest bit of transfers we've seen in today's episode, you know. Uh, he then went to Mainz after the after the Stoke deal. It didn't really work out in the third season. Couldn't really take it in the Premier League. Uh, like I say, he's still at Stoke at the moment, but he is on loan at Deportivo Alaves at the moment this season. So, yeah, I didn't think I'd be putting this guy, this guy kind of in as a flop, to be fair. You know, it's, don't get me wrong, he's still a great player. He's only 26. He can still probably improve depending on, you know, what happens. But, yeah, to me, I think it's kind of a flop. Let me know in the comments what you think. And moving on to the final player is Gius Giuseppe Rossi. Now, this guy, again, can you remember this guy on FM 2008? He had some insane stats. He was one of the best players at the time. He was 20 years old. He was, you know, he was linked to every every team possible in 2008. But obviously, he's very, very injury prone, and it's kind of a, it's kind of battered his career. To be fair, I don't know if we can see his injuries. He's had like he's had a lot of crucial. Look at that, a lot of injuries since 2011. Really, he's not doing too well with his ligaments. Let's be honest. Looking at his career stats, though, like I say, he did start in the 0708 at Villarreal. I remember him vaguely, and well, not vaguely. I remember him very well actually. And you know, he was a very highly highly rated wonder kid, and he did get his move to Fiorentina, where it kind of worked out in the second season. But obviously the injuries in 2011 and stuff and a little bit further on kind of altered his career and he is now a free agent so it's a little bit sad you know but this is the final one anyway this is the end of the episode i hope you've enjoyed it it's something a little bit different just kind of looking about getting a bit of nostalgia you know that that's the kind of thing that i want to do let me know in the comments if you enjoyed it if you signed any of these players and then the next part like i say it's going to be two parts so the second part will be the wonder kids that's made it and the obviously next FM when FM 19 comes out, we'll look back at FM 2009 and see who was the Wonder Kids around that era. But no, it's been a pleasure as always. This is Jamie from FM Scout. I will see you all next time.